back, you know, um, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. I do want to definitely uh, thank you guys. Subscribe on the way and also put on your post notifications because YouTube has definitely been turning those off and full of stuff behind the scenes. But anyways, um, thank you guys for definitely watching this. We're going to get straight into it. Everything you need to know about me, book and reading and all that stuff. The store, the Amazon wish list, um, all of my handles, my other YouTube channels. All that stuff is down below. Once again, it's the journal reading. The roles can be reversed. It's be masculine or feminine, depending on, um, you know, gender that has no uh, significance here. Everybody has both of those energies within us all. So that was a mouthful. But I've been meditating on y'all's energy for a couple of hours. But I'm going to go ahead and start off with the cannabis oral de oracle deck. Okay, I said oral. Okay. I don't know why I said that. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into the cannabis oracle deck here for you guys, Aquarius. Let's see what's <clears throat> going on. So let's see what's going on for you guys. We have justice. Okay, this is Libra energy here. This is Candyland. It's Sativa. It says, your compassion is power. You overcome challenges with calmness and grace. So this reading is about justice here. And then we have the world card reverse. Okay, um, the world card period. I'm not going to read in reversal. But um, <clears throat> you're about to complete something here. Something is being completed here. So you can have your justice. Um, we are going to go ahead and see what this is about here. But, um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this here. So we're going to get four cards out of this deck, and we're going to see what's going on for you guys, Aquarius. Okay, so we have come together, and we have heal the ouch. We have both of these cards here, okay? Let's see what's going on here for you guys, Aquarius. Let's see, let's see, let's see for the Aquarius Collective Spirit. What do we need to know? Okay, so spark. We have encouragement. And then we have wishing well. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Godly. Mm. Okay. All right. So what's going on here? Come together. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot cards here. So right now, I see that you guys are having some type of justice moment. Or you're about to get some type of good karma. Okay. So why do we have a come together card here for the Aquarius? Four wands. Great card. Okay, so six of wands here. Ten of cups. So what's going on for you guys here? I feel like, um, I don't know why I'm getting the Superman uh, vibe or all in a day's work on getting superhero vibes. Like you get the girl, you get the house, you get the car, you get the shoes, you get the clothes. Um, the song Successful by Drake. I just want to be successful. Yeah, I feel like what's going on right now, we have 444. Four, four. So you're being divinely guided, protected, loved. And, you know, you're, there's a decision here that you have to make. But you've already been given um, the okay or, you know, the one, two about all right, so we have 10, 10 here, and we have 4, 4, 4. You could definitely be seeing these here. But I definitely see right now what's going on here, that you could definitely be collaborating with somebody here, or you're about to collaborate with something or somebody here. This could be regarding a relationship or some type of long-term happiness. This could be regarding, like, um a new deal. Like, you know, I'm getting, um for some of you guys, you could be a musical artist or recording artist here, and there's a new deal that's about to pop up on you, or you could be an entrepreneur. You can definitely be a, um, anybody. Somebody could start with a J, okay? But, I don't know why, what I just heard. But anyway, um, like I said, so you guys are coming together here, Aquarius. Um, I definitely see what's going on right now. Um, yeah, two of wands. You have a decision to make here. But whatever decision you make, I feel like what's going on, you're about to be celebrating some type of coming together, people. For some of you guys, it could definitely be union. For some of you guys, it could definitely be like some type of... Um, Big celebration, okay? Like, this could be like a collaboration, a job offer, you know, um, some type of union aspect here. But I thought this is regarding your home or your career life here. Yeah, Six of Wands, I feel like um, something here that you thought was falling apart, something you couldn't wrap your mind around. You could have recently been in a mental prison here. Somebody tried to put you there. But I feel like Ten of Cups, you're still going to get everything. I'm getting your well-being is definitely backed, okay, by your spiritual team here. Yeah, I feel like at this current time being here with the justice card and the heal the ouch right now I'm getting you're going to get your justice here so if you feel like you know something fell off or you didn't get to have an offer or I'm getting um you weren't picked for something or you weren't decided I'm getting it's not your turn I'm hearing it's not your turn not your turn yet you could have um felt like okay so when is it going to be my turn okay your turn is coming up here okay um also there could have been some type of challenge here where you had to make a decision regarding you know what was your ten of cups what was your happiness um you know your long term your longevity or what what meant the most to you here all right let's go ahead and get some food healing cards there's so many use these just now why do we have that 
Okay. So you have the mindfulness. Yes. I feel like you could have had definitely some mind games going on. I'm getting you weren't mindful of yourself or your energy. But I'm getting like your um it's imperative if you definitely keep your energy high or keep your mind high. Because you're about to reward exactly what you want here. For some of you guys here, the reason why it wasn't your turn for something is because um you had to heal. You wanna know what did you have to heal here? Follow me on the verse. You had to um heal yourself so i feel like this could be regarding you know like you could have healed from some type of um what do you say um competition or you had to heal in order to get some type of agreement stop it off for some type of kumbaya energy here you have to heal in order for that to come in or you could be doing this now six of pentacles yeah i feel like whatever's equal, equal give and take here we have the justice yet again that's why I wasn't your turn here. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like with some of you guys here, also, you may be signing some type of agreement, okay, or some type of um, offer, union, or something like here. But I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, men or female, um, this is destined for you, okay? Yeah. But I feel like with the Moon card, there could have been some... Um, issues or how do you say i don't want to say i don't know why i just heard sickness there could be some type of uh, issues or sickness or something here along the lines of pain suffering health and wealth here all right that was definitely how you say holding you back or um that you had to definitely attune your um, vibration to yeah also i feel like you could have had to forgive yourself forgive somebody else here yeah in order i'm getting restore your joy okay you have to restore your joy restore your energy here i'm getting that's why i want your turn okay aquarius also with the encouragement card this for the team or i'm getting people around you who definitely love and care for you here you're being encouraged to move forward or you're being encouraged here also i feel like something could have been um getting an uphill battle something was really really harsh Okay, yeah, also, I'm not a wand, so there could have been some type of, um, ooh, two of cups right behind that. So there could have been um, some type of situation here regarding a knight of wands, or some of you guys, this could be like a, 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 a player-like energy, or somebody here who thought that they had, you know, all the information, or the ups, or the upper hand, or, you know, this somebody who you definitely fuck with here, but it was always some type of, um, bullshit, or, um, something in between you and your higher and your lower self, or this could even be a person here. Yeah, but I feel like whatever plans you had here, you felt like, am I ever going to get these? Yes, Seven of Pentacles. You could have been wondering, like, am I ever going to get this? Or am I ever going to do this or do that? But with the Hierophant card here, the Ancestors, yeah, I feel like somebody could have also called the Tower moment um, for you here. But I feel like this Tower was coming in regarding gossip or, you know, backlash or whatever this is. But I feel like that was supposed to happen or, you know, um, this is all a part of the process. Like I said, balanced here. It's important, it's important also as well that you keep your mind or your gossip in balance or I'm getting your information or what you're telling people here there could have been a group of community of people here that were um definitely gossip that you're trying to take you off your pivot here and cause you time moments for some of you guys here i do see um some type of two of cups could be like a friend a family member some type of um mutual relationship okay i wouldn't say all the way symbiotic but mutual relationship here that you have with somebody here but i feel like through the grapevine there was some type of gossip or some type of information that somebody thought was true somebody used to i'm getting take a hit at you i'm getting the energy wrecking ball okay by miley cyrus but what's going on set seven of pentacles when that happened you was wondering like damn is that ever um is that ever going to you know get done or is it ever going to be right but that's like the hyphen card here that was supposed to happen your ancestors either made that happen or you know they gave the okay for something to hit you hard and heavy but to keep on going here and how you're getting your justice also wishing well here you're about to get exactly what you wish for for some of you guys here um, what is this yeah food card this could be a new beginning here but let's see what's happening with this new beginning let's see what's happening also if you were asking for good friends you're about to be definitely given those but six of swords and the sun card here you're about to be given everything i feel like you know your happiness your optimistic energy or whatever you were doing here paid off i'm getting like you have paid the debt i'm literally seeing two big gates to a wasteland um like you could be in a wasteland but two big old gates opening here okay and then you're finally um there i don't know i'm getting bird box energy like the old movie that came out yeah five of swords i feel like also what somebody had um also, three of pentacles, somebody here who um had the upper hand on you was trying to go against you could possibly cause this time moment or whatever the fuck it was or gossip about you. Be aware this person is definitely gonna be trying to come towards you here to definitely work with you or collaborate with you here. But I feel like you know, just to try to um it's their last attempt to kind of knock somebody out your space or knock you off your square here. All right, but it's not working. But all in all, the sun card def definitely see that you are healing your inner child, or you know, um, I don't know, I just heard pigs in a blanket here. You could definitely be doing really, really well. Somebody can really ate that, but yeah, like I said, feelings here. All right, do not um override your feelings with your mind's logic as well. But like I said, magic. What's up, what's going on here? Somebody could be doing magic here, but I'm getting your mask and energy. You could have definitely um overcame this and you have some type of abundance coming in, okay? Yeah, because whoever this person is, hold on. Let, let's let's get into this. 
Okay, so let's let's start back at the beginning here with the with the mindfulness card. Like I said, you was in the eight of swords in your mind here. You could have definitely been in some type of mental prison, or um didn't know what type of decision here to make. But I feel like the only reason, ooh, why you were in that energy, is because I feel like you were being very very stubborn here. Okay, or you could have been dealing with somebody who was stubborn here. Okay, yeah, but I feel like you're you're being very very stubborn. Also, what's going on? Evil eye. There was some evil eye being sent towards you here. That's probably why you felt like you were in some type of mental prison. But like I said, when you were in this healing stage and when you're going through this healing stage here, Aquarius, here with the Scream card. I feel like a lot of motherfuckers are trying to take your joy, take your energy, or take things from you here. All right, and that's what you need to heal from. I'm getting like motherfuckers who got the power over you. Don't give them any um information, attention. I'm getting don't give them their flowers here. Somebody can receive bought some flowers, but like I said, your luck is changing here, but you have to heal. You have to go through this, and now you're being encouraged to keep on going. Cause I feel like whatever this magic was, okay, um, either it didn't it didn't work, okay. Yeah, again, like whatever this magic was, it was sent your way. It did not work. However, there was a tower moment here because somebody gaslit you. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm getting like they, they did this in your past life. So this is something just coming back previously from a previous lifetime here. But like I said, fancy living. You're going to be looking good, feeling good, um, being good. I'm getting, you're being encouraged here. All right, because whatever lifestyle you want, like that song, Kanye West, The Good Life. Nothing like the life I live. Yeah. Also, this is somebody here, man or female, but they're in their masculine energy and they're not single. Or they're not doing this by their lonely here. This person here could have also tried to gaslight you here. Okay. Yeah, and that's just period here. You could thought, well, when, when am I going to get what I want? When am I going to do this and that? And then, you know, with the wishing well card here, that's actually coming up for you here. Yeah, I thought it also, you could be an empath here. And I'm getting, you have defeated some type of narcissist here. Or somebody who's been revolved, um, not revolved. Okay, this is the world revolves around them, but they have been um, exposed for being a narcissist towards you. This person here, definitely, they tried to beat you when you were down, but now they're going to try to work with you here. They're playing fire with fire here, but I feel like, you know, they you had a plan all along. I'm getting you are strong. You are a soldier. This person could be the same sex as you here. They could be LGBTQ. Deep, they could be down low. Like I said, who this person is, you know, um... They can definitely have a same-sex lover or deal with people according to that. But like I said, this person having a wake-up call. And for you, what's going on right now, Aquarius, I honestly feel like you're being stripped and cleaned by spirit because you're being prepared for this um, blessing. Yeah, I feel like spiritual narcissists here. Motherfuckers keep throwing magic your way, but it's not helping or it's not working. If anything, you know, it's, it's pushing you more into your shadow work here and helping you set your intentions. But I feel like their goal is to give you PTSD so you feel like you don't deserve something or you can't have it. Okay? Yeah, but I thought like you all overcome all this stuff with, with grace. Okay, so now that we've gotten all that together, let's go ahead and see what's coming up next. You definitely need to be knowing here. All right, so let's see what's coming up next for the Aquarius here in the beginning they need to be aware of. Okay, so judgment card, and we got the king of cups. So be aware of somebody here who's a masculine energy. They could definitely be a water sign or somebody here who has done some type of dirt. They could possibly have some type of health issue here. Or I'm getting there. I'm getting that. I'm hearing a song, All Falls Down Here by Kanye West and that lady. I forgot. Yeah, not a pinnacle. So this person is, I feel like, you know, they thought karma was never going to catch up to them for them hurting you, betraying you, or all around just making you look like a motherfucking fool. But it's funny how they're the king of cups here. But um, it's giving like, um, now I'm sweet and now I'm not. Okay, this person has the um, energy of going in between the two. But I feel like what's going on here, um, they could have felt like karma was dragging their feet. I'm getting it hit them just at the right time or it's going to here. Yeah. What else is going on here? This person could also be trying to come to worship when this does happen. So cut their ass off. Let's see what else occurs. You can definitely know here. All right. Um, also, we need to know the cherry card here. On you moving on, on and up here for some of you guys here, you could be moving into a new home, getting a new house, getting a new car. I'm getting moving to or relocating. It's going to be a job as well, too, or some type of new energy, new circumstances, new uh, set of tools, new set of people here, a new area or vibration or environment. Yeah, I feel like not as towards. Also, there's some communication coming in. If you're looking for some type of paperwork, um, it is definitely coming towards you. It's going to be cleared here. How about the Will of Fortune and Seven of Swords? There is going to be some type of trickery here. Why do we have the Seven of swords here all right so page of wands there's not a trickery here but page of wands okay this is somebody who's a page they can be obsessed with you currently your energy you're trying to shower towards you but not a cup so they're going to try to give you an offer go from a page to a night however with the page of pentacles energy eight of wands this person only wants to communicate with you but why yeah seven of cups so i feel like you have a whole brand new bunch of options here it's because they want to eat at your table i'm hearing that song um i forgot and it's like beyonce says fuck you Fuck you. 
fuck you. Like, this is somebody here who would sit at any table that they're being given a seat at, okay? But you need to be careful because when they give you this opportunity, when it comes to what you're trying to talk or kick it or be cool or be your friend or whatever it is, yeah, King of Swords, they have somebody else's um, energy attached towards them. But with the death card, they're being sent by this King of Swords energy, okay? Whoever this King of Swords energy they're being sent by, all right? Um, this person's per purposely or permanently trying to cause type of ending or I'm getting roadblock for you. I'm literally getting, you could be going through like a cave. Let's say you go through a cave, but it's not really like a dark night. So it could just be like dark, but it's not really anything going on. Like I said, this person here, you know how there's a rock slide in one entrance of the cage, um, not the cage, the cave is, uh, closed. Like I said, this person wants to make a cage for you here. Yeah. But nine of cups, I feel like you're still going to get what you want. I mean, that's what they want. But yeah, Ten of Wands here. They're only trying to cause you burden, stress, hardships, whatever. But with the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords. I find this person ultimately going to hurt themselves, kill themselves, or get themselves caught up. But some of you guys here, this person may actually, how do you say, um, recently have a death here. There could be a death of significance here. All right, like I said, whoever the fuck this person is, they may even have an ego death here. I'm getting, they're going to be crushed by the same rock that they're throwing here. They're going to be coming back at this person. Yeah. For some of you guys who are single, or I'm getting you are definitely a free agent or you're doing your own thing or you're definitely worried about, you know, yourself, your contentment. I'm getting your self-love or yourself as a being, as a whole. Yeah, what's going on here is that with the four of cups, um, two of swords, you may not be able to see what's going on, but do not take this offer at all because I'm getting the ten of pentacles here. You have something better coming in. You have a king of pentacles energy, okay? Yeah. Or you may actually evolve to this, but yet yeah, the star card. This is all about you having rejuvenation here. But it's a fire sign energy who does not like this. I'm getting they've been watching this whole time, but they have not been making themselves known. Whoever this fire sign, Aries, or Sagittarius, I'm getting with the um Hermit card. Either they've been cloaking themselves or they've been hiding in plain sight. That's how they've been hiding from you. But I feel like you're not looking for them anyways. With the star card, you could definitely be healing yourself, focusing on yourself, doing you. Whoever this person is, y'all feel like five of pentacles. They feel like they're out in the cold by you here. Or they feel like, you know, they're on the outside looking again. Yeah, with the lover's card. This could be somebody's old lover or somebody here you once upon a time love or you showed them love. A magician card here. Yeah, I just feel like what's going on right now. They also do a lot of magic here. I mean, they do a lot of... um talking or a lot of mind work here but yeah four of swords i feel like this person um they're realizing that there's a, there's a death coming for them i'm getting closed cast so there's no way they can have come back into your life say anything to you do anything to you where i'm getting like you know you've taken a time out from them or they're in fucking time out so they can't do anything it's giving red light green light here yeah, but whoever this person is i feel like queen of wands you could definitely mirror their energy as well if you really wanted to but i'm getting the temperance card could be a sagittarius to be specific does not have to be but I feel like this person here, they work in the physical, they work with chaos, or, you know, they're good under pressure, or whatever it may be here. But I feel like you're the total opposite of this person, okay? But I feel like they see you. I'm, I just heard, let's get, um, let's get ugly. Or I'm getting get ugly to someone by little baby. Okay, so like I said, they see you like this, but I'm getting you can mirror their energy here. But they're gonna forever see you like this because you're naive or you're low down or whatever this is. But like I said, um, with this Queen of Wands energy here, Aquarius, I honestly thought I was going on right now with the Devil card. You could have definitely been toxic in their energy before. Okay, or I'm getting you could have been biting it towards the person before, and they thought they hurt you, but I feel like you were being toxic. Or you know, this person here, they may try to come back around and do something towards you, but I feel like you know, to complete that game, they could think that they have you on some type of dinosaur energy. Or this could be you actually putting on this front or you may need to put this on like you're hurt or you know you're anxious or this and that and that and that's what they think you're doing here but in reality i feel like the devil card here this person's only you only mirroring back their devilish energy or you're only mirroring back who they are with the emperor card like i said you could be in your masculine energy if you need it so i'm getting your real empress or emperor but queen of cups person sees you as an emotional wreck here i'm getting you are a push pin you're soft i can hurt you i can literally i'm literally seeing somebody have you in the palm of their hand and they close it like this or they crush you they, this person thinks they can do this to you whoever the fuck this is but i feel like the temperance card um like i said this is a double confirmation this is literally double confirmation here no matter what they see you as somebody who's emotional you are angelic you know you're high vibing you could be somebody who's all white light or you know all love and light or this is how they fuck they think you you could be happy go lucky or very naive cool calm collected could be young or you know you have a very jovial um lively or live wire energy to you okay and this person thinks that you know they can take that for granted but i feel like you know you being the empress okay you mirroring back their energy towards them it makes them feel like you know damn she can go between the emperor and the empress here the person could also have been somebody here who you thought you had a higher level commitment with or you know a soul purpose or some type of soul contract with but i thought with the hangman card this is somebody who also could have definitely been um prolonging some type of collaboration here some type of new ideas or new partnership here or i'm getting um holding you back here from meeting up with somebody who's on a higher level here by trying to mimic the energy but i'm getting your you're doing this back towards them okay 
Oh, child. Give me one second, Aquarius. But I was checking on something, y'all. My bad. But anyways, like I said, I was checking on something. I was trying to see what the hell was going on. But in this new cycle here, um, let's see. What's imperative here? Spirit, what's imperative for the Aquarius Collective? All right, it's imperative. You definitely keep peaches for positivity. I'm getting pushing P. You keep pushing P here. You keep being P. Keep, keep shit player. Keep shit cool here. I'm getting you stay fucking positive. For some of you guys here, you may need to work on your stack or shock or keep it in alignment here. Because there is possibility that it definitely will be, um, how do you say, um, hindered or, or, you know, attacked as well. Or it may definitely become, um, how do you say, unbalanced here. But you have a uh, garlic here, which is protection. So make sure you're protecting your stack or shock or, okay, who you're sleeping with here, who you're giving your energy to. As well as your lustful activities, your sexual um, urges. All right. And also, um, you need to definitely um, be protecting your ass. I'm getting covering your ass by any means possible here. Okay. Yeah. And this new cycle is imperative because, like I said, whatever this transformation is that you're going through here, like I said, it's going to be a lot of motherfucking miracles. A lot of motherfucking miracles. But it's imperative you keep your energy in alignment here. Yeah, because I feel like, you know, you're going to have to be constantly detoxing yourself or you may need to go on detox and do this regularly here or get used to it. Yeah, because I feel like people are going to try to definitely, um, I'm hearing mold you to who they want you to be or somehow ruin your attitude here or make you um, somehow have a distasteful attitude and try to picture you as this. So just make sure you're keeping everything possible. Yeah, just be calm, cool, and collected. There's going to be a lot of background noise. I'm getting, be the calm in the middle of the storm here. But also be spontaneous. Don't let people know your moves here. I'm getting switched shit up a little bit. Overall, yeah, alchemy. You're giving lemons. It's time for you to make lemonade. So don't be shy. You know, get yourself free here. Or, you know, like I said, listen to spirit here. Spirit is going to definitely be the one who's definitely um freeing you here and helping you keep your peace and protecting your peace. But this was your reading, y'all. Um, This was real short and sweet. I would definitely see you all later.